So apparently people have taken this to heart when I said life is too short to drive a boring car, so drive a Mini. The reason why is this car behind me that I've been waiting for is almost sold. So I decided I had to show it to you now. Now it is raining outside, so the only place I can actually show you this car before it gets sold is the basement of this building. So let's get to it. There it is. This is the 2021 Mini Cooper S Patty Hopkirk Edition. And it has been a long time coming. This car has been delayed for a good couple of months. And finally, one has shown up on the lot. So for my British friends out there, this would look like any normal Mini Cooper S sport trim. But in the US market, we don't have that luxury. This would be considered a signature trim, but it would not have the JCW appearance package that this one has, as the US market does not offer that anymore on the two-door hardtops. But in the case of this special edition car, they chose to add it, and it is just a beautiful car. Now, the reason that I left all the shipping material in place is the fact that the car is pending sale. This car is that popular that someone is already looking at buying it. So for those of you out there wondering who the heck is Patty Hopkirk, let me tell you. He is a famous rally driver well known for winning the 1964 Monte Carlo Rally in his red and white number 37 Mini Cooper. And this car is basically a commemoration of that famous racing car. And they've done everything to kind of mimic the way the racing car looked. The white roof, the chili red body, the number 37 on the door, and there's other little details as well. Now you can't quite see it under this lighting, but his license plate number, which was 33 EJB, is embossed on these stripes. And in the right light, you'll notice it. Now, you can kind of see a little bit of it if I'm holding it just right. There's 33 EJB. It's a very, very subtle marking, and that is intentional because it's an understated kind of element that just adds to the uniqueness of this car. Along with that, his signature is everywhere on this car. It's on the stripe, it's on the boot, it's on the dash panel, and it's on these custom lighted door sill plates. Effectively, everything that could be done to honor Patty Hopkirk is on this car. His name is even in these emblems on the C-pillars, which are reminiscent of the Monte Carlo Rally plates that would be on these cars in, 19, in the 1960s. Now before you think this is just an ordinary Mini Cooper S with a JCW appearance package, here's where things are even better. Something that's unusual for the US market is this car has a full JCW interior. And that's something you can only get in the US market on a JCW. This car also has the seven speed dual clutch transmission. Now, of course, you get some other creature comforts in here as well. You, of course, have the digital dash, which is something I have grown to love. You also have the 6.5 inch touchscreen navigation. And of course, you have automatic climate control. You have heated seats. You have your driving mode, sport, mid, and green. You even have a panorama sunroof. In fact, you have every conceivable option you could possibly want or need in a very, very nicely set up 2021 Mini Cooper S. And it is just a fantastic little vehicle. It has this 189 horsepower, two liter turbocharged motor under the bonnet. You can upgrade this with the JCW Pro exhaust if you so chose. This thing has Harman Kardon sound system. It has some great stuff in here and the comfort of the car with these JCW seats is just phenomenal. It is really, really nice, and this is the only way you're going to get JCW seats, aside from the 1499 GT. This is the only way you're going to get JCW seats in a non-JCW spec car. So, this is just phenomenal. It is a beautiful little Mini, and I'd love to actually get a chance to film this thing outside for you all, so I'm hoping that it's still here on Thursday, so I can actually come back out here and film it out in the daylight. But, in the meantime, we're just gonna leave it here in the basement. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this walk around of the Patty Hopkirk edition. 
check out my playlist at the end of this video on all three door Mini Cooper hardtop videos. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, leave a like below, don't forget to comment, you know the deal. And I just wanna remind you all before you go that life is too short to drive a boring car. So, um, drive a Mini. And uh, if I have the ability to do it, I'm gonna go drive this thing right now, but I'll see you all in the next video.